thought, well, you know, we yeah, have a break right. too. Yeah, okay. It's running. So, look at the red lights on. I need oh, I can do it with this one. I can do that remote, but I can... I don't want to hit the camera. Excuse me. Sorry. See. Here it is. Yeah, I can see Mom and Dad right here on this, in this picture. But that, that's kind of in the shadow because I noticed there's no light coming from this side. So I, I can turn this light on, maybe. Let's see if we can get... It's going to be probably bright. Hello. That's good. We need some light for the face. For, for, for me, too, that's probably. That's too bright. Yeah, I know. What am I going to do, then? Okay. Is that better? Well, then there won't be any light on most of either. Can I turn it down, or... Is that better, or worse? Well, it's better. It is? It's still... No, it is. It's still warm, there, too. That's the know. other thing. Low glare. I, don't, I didn't like it either when I was doing my recording. No. But we can just do a shadowy recording too if you want. You know, doesn't matter. But if you want to be seen, you'll be seen by that camera too probably. And if you turn your face that way, Dad, I can see it. it's much better lit. Which face? Which way? Toward the me. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, then your profile is very well lit, and, and the light gets to this side of your face here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whereas if you look at the camera, so that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, okay. But if, but even if you look at the camera, or, you know, I don't know, you can look at the camera occasionally over here, but it will be a, a more of a shadowy picture, that's all. Yeah. Because I don't think we want that bright light shining on our faces, eh? I don't think so. But uh, so I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it'll be a, but it's okay for it to be shadowy. It's just more mystique, you know? It's more like a bedtime story anyway, so... Yeah. And Anne is visible. <laughs> Anne is visible. You're visible there, just barely, but you can't go any further back than that if you want to be in, in, on that camera, so... <laughs> Anybody need to use the facilities or anything? No. no. Maybe I do. I, I'm okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just get comfortable, relax. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty warm in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm warm, but I'm comfortable. I have a whole lot of clothes on. I have three layers on here. I guess we've got six lights on. Are there three here? I can't see these. Yeah, yeah, three there, uh -huh. three there. Yeah, maybe do a little too much light for us, Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind being in the shadow. <laughs> oh, dear. So is that on now? Is it on all this time? Yeah, I think so. Recording all this stuff. Uh, it's not recording. Oh, it's not. Okay. Okay, that's good. I almost need to put something behind my back. Eh? And uh, just, uh, a question? 
There's a cushion there. Oh, yeah, there's one. That's right. Well, that's good. That's perfect. Well, I don't know. Anything bad? Something come out of it there? No? See, there was a lady at Bridge, and she was sitting on a plastic chair, like a lawn chair. And we had, they have lovely, you know, they have nice chairs, this kind of thing. Not really like that, you know, but nice pattern. And, uh, but she had a bad back, so she chose that chair. And she's a big, tall lady, and uh, the chair broke. I know, and I, that whole I know what came off that. later on. Yeah, do you remember the bedtime stories that we just used? Is everything okay down here? Yeah. Why? Uh, as long as you, uh, you, don't, well, you don't roll around, it's fine. Uh, no, it's um, well, I think it's hot in here. Oh, it's okay. too hot. Well, it's okay. I mean, I just mentioned this hot. Well, what if we reduce it's the light? It's all right. No, it's not too hot, Ward. I'm not too hot. That's you, you must be, you must be, you're too hot. You're too hot? No, I said it's warm you got, in here. Have you got any underwear? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take your pants off? <laughs> 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 what are we going to do? I'm hot, too. That's the thing. I'm not yeah, hot. I'm, I'm hot. hot. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to take my shirt off, but, the, you know, but I would if I were there by myself. I would take my shirt off. Okay. Well, I don't find it all, you know, overwhelming. Oh, it's no. cooler down here. It's hotter up there, I think. Yeah. But you're, you got more insulation. I can sit on your body. You got more. <laughs> <laughs> you got more insulation in your yeah. body. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, go. Thanks. But uh, yeah, my feet would be cold, probably. Yeah. Really cold. But I'm not. I'm too hot though. So what, what, what are we going to do? The only thing I can do is take the lights out. And if we do that, then we don't get any lighting back here. I can take those lights out. That would be cooler. No, what else he's can I turn right. off? Oh, I can he's turn right. this amplifier off too. This amplifier, we're not using it. That should be turned off because we're not using it. So. That's going to reduce the amount of heat generated. Now generation. you see why people on TV are always perspiring and everything. Yeah, eh? the lights are hot, right? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but anyway, I wouldn't want to be on there because of that. Where, where did I put my headphones? Well, I was going to say that. What we could do, what we can do too. Look, we can. I can't put. Normally, my keyboard. Here we go. Now this one's starting. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Good. So far, so good, now. But, you know, there's no... The, the key to not getting nervous is to realize that it probably won't work anyway, and then you... <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the thing, you know. Because oh, otherwise... You know, that's the way golf is. I know that. You have, to be, yeah. you have to fail a lot before you get, you know, good at it, because... Yeah, it's so nerve-wracking, anyway. So, so we're going to start re trying to record here. Let's see. We're going to go Cubase. Here we go. And record. There we are. Now, what's happening here? I only see one channel record. Oh, I see. There we go. What's happening? It's not working. Hang on a sec. Stop. Oh, I want to record on both channels. Okay, so I want to say shift. There we go. That should do it now. Rewind. Record. Looks like it's working. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think we got it working now. All right. Looks like I can see. You see two two red channels and okay. So you're close. So you don't want to move. You got the mic. Okay. So uh, you, you don't have to wear those. Do you want me to take those? No. Or are you gonna try them later or what? Okay. If you you want to try them? Yeah. Okay. Good. So thanks for holding the mic, Dad. And uh, we're here now, ready to go. Anne, are you as close as you can get here? Can you come in a little closer? You, no, don't move, Dad. Just well, you're you're blocking the c camera. Can't see me. Okay. Oh, I think. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I yeah. Won't, that won't be a problem. Just yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll be out of your way. That's right. fine. Thanks for pointing that out. And uh, can, you, can you get closer, Ann? I can. Closer. Yeah. Enough. Well, just as close as you can Enough. reasonably come. I, no. I can't see how close you are. How about if you come over this way, it's close to me? Would that help? You could do that, and then that camera would see you better. But you know. It, I wouldn't change anything too much, you know. No, okay. Wherever your feet will fit. I don't want your back to that camera. No, no you have know. to. You have to put it's your feet there. You have to yeah, leave your legs way. here. Your chair is what chair. you can move. Move, move the chair, chair side of it this way. And can what? you can you stand up and move your chair over? Move a bit? the chair this way. Let's stand up. Here, there, that's, try that. Yeah, that's where you want to be. Yeah. 
Oh, but no, if not. you're not far enough forward, I'm not sure that camera will see you either, though. That's the thing, right? Because is that camera? Can you see that camera lens, Anne, from there? Yep. Fully. I can, I can With see room that. to spare. I can see all, see all With room around to spare? the camera. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> I can see all around the camera. Good. Okay. So it can, it can see you then. So. Yeah. All right, so now anybody, uh, if anybody wants to say something, I think they, they could hold the mic themselves, right? And I'm going to, I can ask questions and, and hold the mic, you mm -hmm. know, th okay. that way as well if we want. But uh, now what are we t trying to talk about now? If we want to talk about anything in particular. And any, anybody have any ideas? So well, you were talking about Deep River, and yeah. you were saying that we had a sandbox. When we first went to Deep River, we were in a little apartment, and it was... Um, we had a baby carriage. You were just born. That uh, we were only there. We went to Deep River in September, and you were born in January, February. January tenth. January tenth. January tenth. And uh, you didn't know probably that that night, the night you were born, Nanny was with us, uh, because we had Linda there too. And uh, in the night, uh, we I started to be in labor, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and Still I didn't. Yeah. Didn't go to the hospital. I was knitting mittens to send to Louise, you know, my youngest uh, si uh, sister, and uh, oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't go to the hospital yet. I was having labor pains, but I th and it was minus Kleenex. thirty or more below and in Deep River. Can we mm -hmm. get the Kleenex, please, Anne? Here. Thank you. And the temperature <laughs> out was minus thirty, <laughs> and we had no car. We were, of course, you know, just out of, Ralph was just out of university, so we had no car, and uh, we hadn't thought about having to go to the hospital in the middle of the night. But a friend of mine, Joan Denovan, her father-in-law was there, and he said, "Now don't you get up and go to the hospital, you know, in the night. Call me, and I'll drive you." And he had a nice car, but I thought, well, I can't wait that old man up in the night. Now Ooh, I realize. Mr. Denovan? John Denovan's father-in-law. Father. Oh, yeah, father-in-law. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he wasn't really that old when I think of it, because I was only in my 20s, so how old? He wasn't very old, but I thought he was an old man. So I didn't, uh, so I said to Ralph, we'll just walk to the hospital. So this is 3 o'clock in the morning. He was how minus old Minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit or more. How, how old? Probably colder. Sorry? And we walked. How old was he? You thought? You said, I don't know. He oh, was, oh, he was old. Oh, oh you were in, in your his, 20s. Probably only yeah. in his 50s, I would say, you know. Yeah, but I thought he was yeah. old. Yeah. But anyway, we walked to the hospital, and Dad was practically running, and I was having to stop every now and then for this terrible pain that oh, I had. Oh, yeah. And m Mom is, uh, wants to be on that camera, too. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think that, I think that as long so, as, can you still uh, see that one? Any, anyway, okay. Dad was rushing, and I was getting mad at him because, you know, he wouldn't wait for me. He was afraid the baby would be born there in the street, which is quite possible. And uh, I'm sorry but anyway, to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah, what were you saying about you? You were, you were, you were. The part about he was. Too I said old I was having yeah. contractions and having oh, yeah. to stop and and uh, until they passed because you know your baby's about to be born so oh, you. Yeah. But anyway, we made it to the hospital. Walking, walking, yeah. Uh, and uh, and that was miraculous. And they examined me and said, well, the baby wouldn't be born yet. And that was me, they. Eh? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. But then very quickly Not they quite. said after a while born. they said no, no, you'll have to go to the delivery room <laughs> and uh, and he was born. Yeah, and Ralph was there, of course, and uh, and um, as I said, I was a bit cross with him yeah. when I got there. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's another part to the story. The yeah. reason the reason we didn't leave to go to the okay. hospital sooner was I was mm -hmm. I was That's working fine. on a presentation. I had to make the following morning to give at the plant. That's yeah. Not that's not why. That, I, that's that's I why told I told Nanny. Was, I told Nanny it, it, I wasn't not, not going. You were ready, and I yeah. told Nanny. Well, anyway, you okay. Well, that's that's a detail. The Keep point is, I I was, <laughs> I was working the six night before. Six inches. Six inches. Working yeah. the night before on a presentation to give on my the work I had done at McGill. Okay. Yeah. For my PhD, they wanted me to give a talk. And what did Mum say? What did you say again? No, no, I, it's I was, okay. It's yeah, okay. I'll tell you after. And and so. That, you know, that was a bit of a panic, too. 
So anyway, after you know we got to the hospital, I yep. stayed there till about six o'clock. Point right at you. And yeah. and I had to go and get the bus to get because the talk was at eight fifteen in the morning. I can hold it. Yeah, so okay. I had to I had to get the bus to get yeah. to the plant and give my talk. Yeah. So I couldn't stay too long at the hospital. Oh, <laughs> but the baby so was born before you left. Six six o'clock or so wasn't yeah, it? Six. She was born early in the morning anyway. Yeah. Well, six I was o'clock. what I was going to say is that uh, I think. I remember I, I said to Nanny, I wasn't going to, Nanny was getting really worried because it was scary. She wanted oh, me to go that, yeah. to the hospital, you know. And I was saying, no, I'm not going till I finish this mitten for Louise. And when I finish that, we'll go. And that's really what we did when the mitten was finished. When Ralph by then had his work done anyway, we, we headed out for the, for the hospital. <laughs> and I finished the mitts and, and uh, afterwards got them sent off. But Nanny was pretty worried. And when I think of it now, you know, we were young and inexperienced, but it was a terrible thing because if the baby had been born, if Ford had been born right there on the street, I didn't have a blanket or anything, you know. Right. But yeah. Anyway, well, you you got here. Somehow you in knew. In good health. You, <laughs> there was somebody new somewhere. Anyway, I guess that it was going to be all right. But but now what? I I didn't get the part. You, you were in the waiting room when you had to leave. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I, the, you were born by then, yeah. but I had to leave to catch the seven o'clock bus, whatever, to get to the plant. You know, to give, give my a talk. talk. And that was seven. Yeah, it was seven, eh? So yeah, I was, you know, I was around born seven around seven, seven, was I? No, you were born at six, I think. Six? Oh, okay. Okay, good. That's good. So, uh, and what were you doing then, Anne? Oh, um, I She was at the plant I... waiting for me to give the talk. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I was <laughs> sitting there in the theater. Really? Really? Yeah. No? Or you were not? <laughs> well, were you? I bet you no, was. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> 1957, though. What were you doing in 1957? That's my point. Well, I was working at the plant. I had to catch the bus in the morning, too. But to when did you come to Deep River? To be at work. Uh, I December 47. December wow. 47. What, what, what? Ten years before us. You came yeah. about. Yeah. We were yeah. we were 56. L we were 56. Yeah, late in, in 1956. Is that right or something? Mm -hmm. And you were born in the 57. fall. Yeah. 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 So that's interesting. Anne was there a little earlier, 1947. I would be going on the bus. I, I always took the bus to work. Yeah. To be so there. The to be yeah. there for 8:15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to hold the mic? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so let's yeah. let's work Continue our way the up then. Yeah. We were we were in that apartment. Ralph's professor at McGill had told him when we went to Deep River, don't take an apartment on the first floor to wait uh, get get an upstairs apartment because it's so cold and it was the winters were so cold that you get the heat. We had little stove in there, a little oil stove with it, Ralph, and an oil burner. That was our only heat for the whole apartment. And, uh, but we got a lot of heat. If you're upstairs, you got a lot of heat from the downstairs apartments. So we were quite comfortable there, aren't we, Ralph? Weren't we, I mean? <laughs> How old was Linda then? How old was Linda? Uh, well, Linda would be born? three, oh, I there, guess. Yeah. That's some, some Three and a half. Yeah, three but and a half. This is in 1950. 57, when you were born. We went in 56, yeah. So she wasn't, uh, she's she be three and a half. Three. I she thought you were three. talking three about... Three and a half. She was born in July. In September, yeah. It should be three I, and a little more. I thought you were talking about McGill, though. Yeah, right? Yeah, We're, Dad was at McGill. I wasn't there at McGill, was I? No, no. no. That was before we went to Deep River, and you weren't born then, what, obviously. What, wasn't that what you were saying about McGill, something about being in Montreal or not? No, yes. That? We were in... in at, right when Dad was at McGill, and we knew we were coming to Deep River, the professor, who Dr. Bell, who had been there, uh, he knew that we, if we went, got an apartment instead of a little house, we should be upstairs because it would be warmer and more comfortable. Well, so I'm we got that. We went to live yeah. in this apartment house on Troy's, and uh, it oh, was I nice. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, but right. But well, well, you were really talking about Deep River while you were yeah. in the hill. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then uh, we were... So, so um, let, let me... Yeah, that's right. So all right. You were, you, so you were in, at McGill, and you were finding out where you would live in Deep River. That's right. And that's that, so you already had me... Uh, no, after I, I we was, I mean, yeah, I was. You were born in Deep River. I was not born yet, but I was still. I, I was with you at that time. You, yeah. you were with yeah. child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So, so we were in this little apartment, and Dad was going to work. I was quite lonely because there were three other families in the building, 
and uh, but nobody would speak to me if I saw them. You know, there was an older couple downstairs, and there was uh, another couple across from them, and then I was upstairs, and so was another family, the Mills. And uh, At Troy? but nobody ever, yeah. but even Troy's, if I yeah. saw yeah. the man, they wouldn't say hello or anything, you know. I didn't mm-hmm. see one couple down below, and I, they were a bit younger than us. So I was quite lonely there, and the radio at that time uh, wasn't working very well. You couldn't get good radio What reception. time do we start, you know? The only program About we three? could get was from New York. Fifteen minutes ago? My sister's ago, radio like station. Probably ten and, uh, and And we couldn't get a telephone. We were quite isolated. We oh, couldn't wait, get a telephone here. because all the lines yeah. were used up. Be able to see. So it was sort of lonely, you know. And and then one day we were having a big thunderstorm and 12, I, I, 12 didn't, minutes, I couldn't go out. Minutes, and I seconds, thought I'm yeah. going to go downstairs and I'm going to ask the lady, the younger lady in the other apartment, if uh, she'll come and have tea with me, you know, with me and Linda. So I went, want me to stop? In the thunderstorm, you yeah, say? Yeah, well, in yeah. her apartment. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. day there was a big thunderstorm, yeah. and I wasn't worried about that. I'm not, yeah. wasn't, but I, you know, couldn't go out. So I thought I'm going to go down and ask this woman if she could come and have tea with me. So I knocked on her door, and it was Betty Andercheck. You know, mm-hmm. Chuck Andercheck. Anyway, mm-hmm. I went in to it's have okay. tea with her. If, if uh, she no, talks, I'm sorry. If if she talks a lot this time, maybe no, I'm know. gonna stop. But now. It, but then no, next no, time, no, okay. yeah. she, she remembers most of the story. No, yeah. I'm, he'll well, tell I'm his sure story. Yes, he will. Share, but let know. me finish this one, and then I'll stop. You started it with the sandbox. Oh, I don't. We but don't anyway, stop. We don't anyway, anyway stop. she inv- she said, "Well, why don't you come in and have tea with me?" So I yeah. said, "Okay." So Linda and I went in to have tea with her, and as I, I sat down, and she said to me, "Well." She said, is your husband on the staff at the plant? And I said, well, no, he couldn't be on the plant staff. We just came here, you know, how could he possibly be on the staff? And she said, because if he is, you wouldn't be allowed to have tea with me. No, and I don't think uh, that's a good good way to put it. Yet, no, not allowed. It's not a matter of allowing. Yes, no, but that's what she said. Yeah, but she, it, she, it was like the, I mean, the forces were like that. But in the you know, we read stories about Deep River in the early days that some people wouldn't invite anybody whose husband wasn't a professional to go and have dinner, have tea with them, or anything. But anyway, yeah, I said no, he couldn't possibly be. So we had lovely tea, and I was happy to have a friend. Well, so she, now, Papa, yeah, yeah. it's your turn. So you, you think that she was um, not on the staff? Her husband was not yeah, on no. the staff? Okay. No, no, no. Her but husband, they were nice. And her she husband, was my that's friend. right, was not that's on the staff. That's all that needs to be said yeah. about yeah, it, really, yeah. is that one is on the yeah. staff and one is yeah. not that's on the staff. That's yeah. what yeah. mama's... <laughs> What Mum is referring yeah. to is a class system, yeah. which right. where there was yeah. a class system in That's Deep River, interesting, isn't which it? was we were probably never proud of that. probably brought mm-hmm. over from the UK because yeah. a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people the at Brits, Chop yeah. River in those days were from the UK. Yeah. So there's you can hold it close. You just don't have to talk loud yeah, if you hold it. There's a tradi- you, tradition, you know, that there yeah. was this system which we, of course, didn't know anything about and didn't care about. Wow. I'd like to talk about uh, Deep River, them moving to our house, getting a house. You, because who knows we stayed about that? in the apartment about six months. Who knows about uh, Papa, how Papa you got the knows. house on Faraday? He huh? knows about yeah, that. Yeah, well, uh, well, you know. Um, and how long it took to get from Troy, you know, to, from Troy to Faraday, you know, or what was the... What was the how move? long? You mean, or what? What were the events? What was what, you know? How well, long? In that well, sense? once we had two children, I guess you know they, the the. Uh, Housing supervisor, you know, f- for the company, kept records of what you know, all the families were doing and so on. And uh, when you got to a certain size, they put you on a list, a priority list, so you could get a house. You know, w- when you have one child, the apartment is good enough. With two, you need a house. Mm-hmm. So uh, we we got uh, offered a house on Faraday you know, once you were born and so on. So uh, that's what we did. We moved there. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. And it ha- what did it have when you got there? It had everything it already. The, the, the sandbox was there, or the no. In no, the I don't think the sandbox. I think I I put dug that in. And yeah. a swing. And a, we put a swing in there. Right for yeah. the kids, for the children. Yeah. Well, for Which us you, didn't, too. you didn't have the children <laughs> right then, though. You didn't have. All, you had Linda, and Just you had that me. Just that you too. And I was. Two, how, yeah. old, how old was I then? 
pretty. Uh, well, you couldn't use the swing, could you? It was too small. Sure, I could use it. It was a good solid oh, oh, swing. Oh, it was okay. Real <laughs> solid metal chain oh. with a big thick. Oh, seat. I guess I remember it now. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't, it yeah. wasn't a toy set. It was a. It was a homemade thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we dug this sand box next to the garage. It, you say it was chain. It wasn't rope, eh? It was no, chain. No, it was chain, yeah, yeah, metal yeah. chain. Right. Yeah. Good and solid. I have pictures of it. What, like one inch chain, three quarter inch, one inch? Oh, I, I, think it was, okay. I think it was but, rope. And you had plenty to, yeah, strong, I pictures. Anyway. And you built the sandbox, yeah? <laughs> yeah. You, you, built, yeah. you built a sandbox too, eh? And you, and yeah, yeah, that's right. That was near the garage? Right next to the wall of the garage, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. I remember that. Yeah, well, we have a picture of that. Yeah, me. yeah. Yeah. So you uh, in the backyard, and they used to play. Remember with Brucey e. Condy with all his little oh, lead yeah. soldiers. You Bruce had all Condy, beautiful yeah. lead soldiers. Bruce Condy. Yeah, t tell them we about had, the lead soldiers. We soldier. had a beautiful set of lead soldiers that Pat um, uh, Pierce? Pierce, Pierce had given to me. In fact, it had belonged to her son. Beautiful. It's and she beautiful. gave it to me for yeah. ward, but. Uh, but he and Brucey e. Condy used to play in the sandbox with these. Well, where did the Condys live, first of all? They where lived a few doors down just from us on the opposite Faraday. side. Opposite oh, same side. No, no, same, no, side. same side. Same side. To, to the right of yeah. our house. To the right no. of our house. Yeah, as yeah. you look at our street. So down toward yeah. Toward to the, the left. Burleys, toward Looking. the Burleys. Toward Rutherford. At the Burleys. That end of it. Right. Yeah. Janice Burley. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Okay, yeah, or, there. and who lived to the right of us? Alexander's at one point, but at that first point, it was Jim Kennedy. The Domaranskis. No, the Jim Kennedy. Oh, Jim Kennedy, first. yeah, yeah. So yeah. the Kennedy at that time that the Kennedys were there, then the Condys were there just further along. Yeah, later on they came. Oh, yeah. Okay, later the That's Condys. That's right. Yeah, yeah later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Condys. Yeah, the Sorry, Condys. no, they were there still. They were there always when we were there. I think so. But they're only about three doors down from us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and Brucey and used to play with you. Well, then. Uh, one day you came in and you said that Brucey Condy was bringing your soldiers home with them. And uh, he was, you know, I, I came out finally and I said to Brucey, you can't, you can play with them, but you can't take them. He said, no, he wasn't, he had no soldiers. But I said, well, you know, Ward said he'd put them in his pocket. So I said, well, let's see, you know, so he did. He had his pockets, pockets <laughs> a couple of pockets soldiers. full of soldiers. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, he gave them back. I suppose he gave them all back. But anyway, uh, I don't know whatever happened to those beautiful lead soldiers. They were really lovely. But anyway, and I, Brucey yeah. didn't take them all, for sure. <laughs> he might have had a few, though. <laughs> so uh, that brings us to, um, what, and what what year is that now? That was, are we talking about 1960 or six, after oh. that? Oh, it would be earlier than that, 57, but, 58, well, 59. Well, he's a little boy. He's a little boy. No, no. He, uh, he wouldn't be. Uh, he was born in when? 57. He, so me. he'd be four or so. Yeah, I you'd think. be 1960 yeah. maybe. Yeah, or 61. 61. But, uh -huh. and, but I was a friend of David Green's too. He was, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That Across was. the street. Does it, who knows about that now? Yeah. Who can tell that yeah. story? Can, do, well, you, you your dad, home. dad knows Trouble about the washer and dryer because you had to paint it again afterwards. Kids, you know. Yeah, wipe the paint yeah. Off. Well, when you painted the garage too, I think. Yeah. No, but I, I put dirt on the garage, I think. Yeah, but you put it on top of paint, I yeah. believe. Well, I know. I didn't paint it, though. I, I didn't put the paint on. You no, did, you yeah, did that. well, that's right. So, <laughs> so yeah, your, your next buddy was David Green, who lived across the street. And uh, you guys were a pair, I tell you. Like, uh, one time, uh, I painted the, put, you know, painted the side of the garage with gray paint, I seem to recall. And how and do you spell uh, green? How do you spell green? With no E? Yeah. No, no E. No E. Okay. Same spelling as us. Right. So anyway, uh, I painted this wall of the garage, and I went in, I guess, to rest or whatever. I wasn't there anyway. And Ward and David were playing in the sandbox. And when I came out, they had taken sand out of the box, put it on their hands, and smeared it all over the side of my garage. That's how <laughs> friendly they were. <laughs> We were, so artistic. we were artistic. Nice, nice kids, you know. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's one story. Another thing, time they were in, in the house. I guess it was probably raining out or something. How old were and we? Uh, How old were we? Two, only two. Well, or? you were, no, no. You must have been. It was around 1960. You're three or four three, years okay. old. Because we yeah. we moved in 61. We were so, little boys. Yeah, we moved in 61. <laughs> so you the, yeah. you'd have to be close to. Th Four years old. You didn't move from Faraday in 61. Yeah, we did. We, we moved did to, to Rutherford. Moved oh, no, sorry. Prawnak, that was in 67. 
Oh, no, 66, 67. 66, yeah. 66, yeah. Yeah. 66 67, because I went to grade uh, 6 at yeah, Morrison. Yeah, that's right. You Morrison did. School you did. at that for the first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, 66, time. yeah. yeah. So you, you yeah. guys were five or six years old, I guess. Really? Okay. Anyway, the one other time, uh, yeah. Mom was probably was younger, having yeah. tea with uh, David's mother. In our house. In the house, and you guys were playing mm -hmm. in the basement. Okay, so I'll tell, she'll tell you what happened next. Well, I think what happened is they came up and we saw them. They came, walked across the carpet in the living room and they had paint all over their shoes and it was went all over the carpet too, of course. <laughs> and and uh, I went, we went down. We couldn't have been five or six years old then, right? No, you were younger Must than that. Have been and younger Marg then, and I yeah. went down to the basement to see. And you might have been five or had, six for the garage, eh? You, you had painted the washer and dryer. Yeah. With the with the outside dark green paint that Dad had for the picnic table, and you had painted all over the washer and the front of the dryer, and then you, when you came up, yeah, you had yeah. paint on your hands and paint. So we anyway, Marg and I had to get to work and clean it all up. I don't even remember how we did it, but we weren't mad or anything. I wasn't, you know. I just uh, was. Typical little boys, I guess. Uh, see, I, I think I remember being about two or three, but I don't know if I, you know. If yeah, I could have been. Could have, you were young. I, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly. And w w with the putting the stuff on the garage, it could, I could have been, we could have been older then, eh? It could have been. Oh, yeah. I, it could have been. Anyway, but, uh, with the yeah. paint. I think maybe, but I'm not sure. Yeah. You must have left the paint cans open down yeah, there. Yeah, because we had I to guess. be tall enough to reach the garage. We had to be tall enough <laughs> to get to the garage. We were tall yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was up a certain height, right? So, two years old, you couldn't reach up that high, so. So I think that the the, yeah. the the garage came after the uh, oh yes it did incident with it the did, uh, washer yeah. and dryer. But I painted the washer and dryer with my friend David Green. I remember. I think. Rem I think I remember that. I just, I seem to remember it, but I don't know how how I can remember because I wasn't. I mean, I remember seeing myself do it, but I couldn't have been seeing myself, so that that, <laughs> that memory can't be right. <laughs> anyway, they were learning lessons. They saw me paint the picnic table and thought, well, you know, we know yeah, how to right. paint too. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Hey, yeah, we must have. Uh, They'll out. do some, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Nice, sure, yeah. sure. <laughs> Why not? But they probably used their yeah. hand instead of a brush, did they? Yeah, no, I think? No, I think they had a brush. Yeah, a brush? The paint yeah. And the paint must have been open. You couldn't open, you were a little boy, a paint can. So Why it's would I, yeah, how did we open the Why paint? Why would I how leave a paint open? can open? You don't no. leave paint cans No, we open. must have figured out how to get it open, right. I think. We might. But I we must have pried it. I think yeah. we pried it open. Screwdriver. Yeah. Screwdriver. Yeah. Screwdriver. Oh, it, would yeah. be David <laughs> who knew, it would be David who knew how to do that, though. I think I wouldn't have known. I don't think. I still don't know how to open paint now. No, I know. It was hard. I don't think kids Was David older than Ward? You know? no, no, but but I don't think it'd be difficult to open a paint you, can if yeah. it was properly closed. Very yeah. difficult. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah for a two year old, it would be tough. I mean, it would be Or even four or five. It? It, yeah. I can't yeah. see it like you. It's hard. Yeah, you think it was just not put on tightly or something, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. Something. Well, I, I don't think we can blame anybody, though. No, right? no. <laughs> We're not blaming him. <laughs> I think he'll <laughs> escape <laughs> all right. <laughs> Maybe, I, maybe except the, for maybe blame the little kids. That's yeah. a, that was what I was thinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't mean blame the. I don't mean we can't can't blame the little children. You can't blame the children, I guess. Anyway. No. But, but you can't really. I mean, they're if they're more to blame in some ways than the, than the leaving the paint open. But maybe not because we could have drunk it, or something. Yeah, it left that's open, right. So. And you know, two little boys mm. let loose in the in the basement. Whatever they're fond, they're so going to play with. That's all. So uh, it's up to the. Do we want to? Yeah. Do we want to talk about front front neck at this point? Or, or, or I remember tobogganing. I, I remember Mr. Witten lived next door, and I fell off my bike. Oh, right? really? Yeah. Right? I, I fell off my bike when, uh, when you, you know this story probably. No, Because I was unconscious when it happened. It's part of it. it. Part of it happened. But uh, I remember I was riding my bike, uh, but and I was practicing, learning to ride my bike, and I had a little blue bu uh, bicycle. N not a tricycle, but a bicycle, right? The first <laughs> time that we took the wheels off. I think. Oh, yeah. I think I had training wheels. Is that That's what I remember. Probably. And then we took the wheels off after I got good enough at that, and then I started riding it without the training wheels. And I was really excited because I could ride this bike you know without any training wheels that was so exciting so i just go out and ride whenever i could any chance i got i go and wanted to go out and ride at this point just to see what you know because it was so exciting riding a bike i, I remember that oh that's and, good uh, yeah and and then i but then i remember one day i went out and i didn't uh, I, I don't remember anything because i i was unconscious on the street and mr Witten came out and picked me up and brought me into to mom back to the house and presented me to 
my mother and uh, said, you know, I guess here's your son or whatever. And I woke up. I was un unconscious. So I think I was. He. I think he revived me, maybe or something. Or maybe. I mean, maybe. I remember. I, I remember being yeah. conscious with when when I was in his arms. I yes. I became yes. conscious when I was in his arms. I think, if I recall, and then because mm -hmm. I don't think it happened in the house. I didn't wake up and say where I am. And no. Where am I in no. The house. <coughs> but uh, did you? Do you remember that? Or? No, I don't no? remember that. I don't remember that. I was. I think. But I think I was four years old. If, if that's yeah, possible. Yeah, you were. You were. No, you'd be older than older that than for your bike. Six? I think. Maybe, Six, maybe? I, don't I don't remember exactly. Something like that. Yeah, four wouldn't yeah, be right. Okay. Yeah. So, well, nowadays kids learn when they're six. I know, but don't they, they have I different mean, they little. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's totally. Yeah. Are you okay? Is it too much? Yeah, hard? yeah. I'm gonna take that off. It's just it? pinches no, too much. Probably still it? hear it. It's all right. It's, does it pinch too I much? I can hear. No, yeah, you can no, also just a little bit it. for yeah. the moment. I can. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, you can hear. It's. Of course, you can hear without the without the headphones if you want. That's fine. Yeah. So uh, and so, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Mr. Whitten. Yeah, I remember Mr. Whitten, and uh, from I remember tobogganing down the, the the snowbank in the front of Faraday when I was about maybe. Well, I couldn't have been twelve. I guess I must have been younger than must ten. Must have been on Dump Hill. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. no yeah, no we did slope. that. Yes, we did that. What's your? Yeah, but I can't think of any. No, no. Slope. Just at the front of the snowbank, I used to get my toboggan. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. I had a toboggan, okay. and I was practicing standing up. Yeah. I think you got a little bit of sweat. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You got a little bit of sweat there. Huh? I, I, I was standing up on my toboggan practicing like uh, surfing or something. I, you know, like standing on the toboggan, going down, standing up. And I had the rope and I'd pull on the rope to keep uh, keep my balance. You know, I mean, but I was practicing. I, I wasn't practicing. I was just sort of having fun, you know. <laughs> going down the snowbank onto the street and then w I went down and hit the street and the, the toboggan stopped suddenly Stop, and, and you, I fell and forward. And you went forward, yeah. And my head hit the uh, front of the toboggan and yeah. it opened up a gash above oh my, my right. still have a scar above my right eye. Oh my goodness. From yeah. that when I was, I, I was probably nine years old, I'm guessing, because uh, because when we moved, we moved very, maybe we moved shortly after that. I'm not sure how old I was. I could have been younger. And mom had to take me to the hospital to get stitches. Yeah, yeah. That so, I so you from see, Faraday. that's Andy. Faraday. F fifteen Faraday. We didn't say fifteen Faraday. Yeah, did we? Or did we? Right. yeah. So you see, Andy yeah. was a wild character when he was young. Fifteen Faraday Crescent. Like, mm. That was before I got my motorbike too, right? I mean, I was. Oh, uh, I, I, could, yeah, I could yeah. never yeah. understand having toboggans because we grew up, and probably you did too, and with slides. You know, sleds, and you could sit on it. And you had the front part oh, yeah. was a steering device, and Don't it would had yeah. ropes attached. So you sat and held the ropes and put your feet on this. And you, if you pushed on that front part, you could go right or left. You didn't have to bump into anything with a toboggan. If there's a tree there, you're probably going to oh, yeah. hit it, you yeah. know. But the slide, you could lie on your tummy and do it and go down mm. the hill and use your hands to, to turn yeah. the... This, this, the this, the slide was, the slide basically had steel metal runners. Yeah, yeah. And I need to turn my, my, it's too loud for my ears. Can you turn my volume down a little bit for me there? That, 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 that round button again? I can't reach it. Just turn it down a couple of notches. Or I have to turn it. Left, uh, counterclockwise. Okay. What's it at now? My, my ears will get fatigued and then they'll start to hurt. Oh, yeah. Eight. It's probably eight hurt, or so. something. Minus nine. Well, go to, go to. Eight. Go to nine or ten. Please. That's nine. There's ten. Okay, that, that should be. Yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah, okay. these slides were made with. Still hold this close these first. slides were made. With, they had no. steel runners, and then the. Maybe it's just. Uh, I'll have to adjust it some more. There we go. Yeah. It, it, there we go. It's minus thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the slides had steel runners, and there there were wooden pieces <laughs> built on top of them. So the slides, you know, you were lying, if you lay on the slide, you were about five or six inches above the ground or the snow. And as Marie said, you could steer these because they had a crossbar, which was able to turn, Did you force, do with your force, feet? force, yeah. Yeah. with your hands. You or with your hands, okay. okay. Or, with your, you have, or yeah. with your feet. Whichever way you're. Yeah, and yeah. so you would, yeah. you, you could, you could, go that way, you you could uh, like this. bend yeah, the. Yeah, we had one, I think, yeah. <laughs> Doing yeah, this, you could bend the runners and so direct the thing in the, re yeah. in the way you want it to okay, go. Okay, you can hold it, yeah. Yeah. Just They're very efficient. Point it at your mouth, that's the best way. Yeah. yeah. No, um, but to, it's we all, didn't it have these. Works straight in, that one. This one works anyway. We didn't have these uh, these slides in Deep River. We all used toboggans there. 
Oh yes, right, and and you're right. And Dump Hill, remember? Uh, we we always went to that. Uh, we called it Dump Hill. Now, what? Yeah. There was a story. Does someone want to tell that story about Dump? Why it was called Dump Hill? No, or? I don't know, man. No, I might, think no, it was I the old know. dump. The old it, dump. It might have been. It might have been a dump at it, one time. Uh, yeah, th that's what days, I thought it I was. Know. I thought it was. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I thought it used to be the old dump for the Deep River Dump, and then they, then they moved the dump, uh, and that's why it's called Dump Hill. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. but I'm, I'm not certain of that. But it was a, our tobogganing hill, and later became called Hill Park. Instead, they changed the name from Dump Hill to Hill Park. Yeah, because, because when the town expanded, uh, they needed it to use property oh, yes. ar around that dump area. Yeah, it was out uh, near the outskirts of town originally, yeah, yeah, probably. For, and yeah, then, right. And then we later moved to beyond that point. And, yeah, and that's that right. Was Frontenac Crescent, which yeah. was a little bit outside the old boundary of town, probably mm -hmm. right. But the new 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 town was bigger. So there was a big, you know, whole set of new houses were built in. in in 50, well, just after we went there, 56, I think, they built a lot of new houses up around that area. So that's why they had to, you know, move move the dump somewhere else. Well, anyway, that's good. And, I mean, it's good that we uh, we know a little bit about the, the town and that also the Elliots lived in that, on that side, too, uh, that side the of the dump. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they were yes. near yeah. the dump. They were near Dump Hill, yeah. That's yeah, right. That's yeah, right. nearer than we were. And the Crockers, they lived the, yeah, the Crockers. Yeah, just across right the street across from, from it. it. That's yeah. right, in Mountain yeah. View Crescent, right? Yeah. 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 And then there was Laurier Crescent that ran along beside the, right. the, the outside of Dump Hill. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and then the they built yeah. Frontenac, of course, yeah. Frontenac Crescent, and that's where we moved. We had... Jim Kennedy had lived next door to us, and then Jim had moved to Frontenac to a large home. What were they called? And what were they called? An R? Yeah, they were the Type largest R. house, I what think. What was his name? What was his name? And, uh, Type R. No, his yep. name. His name. The, Jim houses. Kennedy. Jim Kennedy. Our first house was a J, and this one. Was Another a, Kennedy? No, no, the same, no, same guy. Same one. The guy who oh, lived the next door. Oh, the same guy. Yeah. He moved there. He moved, yeah. to, he he moved, moved to Frontenac, there. and then he moved away from there. Yeah, but well, yeah, then yeah. Yeah. Dad heard that Jim. Was selling yeah. was going to be moving away. He had a new job out west at a university in BC, so he was coming home on the bus with Jim one night, and he mentioned to Jim that, uh, you know, he'd be interested in his house. Oh, yeah. And Jim said, "Oh, he put his name at the top of the list." And sure enough, he he uh, sold the house to us, and we moved in there, and I, that was uh, a bigger house. Did we have any ants in that house? Any no. ants? No. No, I remember ants, no ants. the first year. Oh, the really? first year, the first summer when we. Uh, th th that's funny that you don't remember that because I. Th that's what I remember about that house. As soon as we moved there, the, the next summer we had an infestation of ants like we'd never oh. seen ever before, and we. So we got ant traps, and that solved it. But in, initially, we were overrun. We didn't know what to do I, with I these think, ants. Yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> as a little child, there were more to you than, than there really right. are. Were. I mean, we have uh, <laughs> we have ant invasions. These, I was these. 10 years old, though. I was 10 yeah, years old. Well, you know. Yeah. 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 So, so we, we have still have ant invasions. Yeah. In the spring, yeah. eh? You get ants well, so you're, you, now. You're used to them now, but no, you were not... You were used to them, I think now, but but back then that was a big thing. We didn't, you didn't know what to do about it at all. We didn't know what. No. Nobody did. No, you know, in our family knew what to do about it. So it was a disaster at first when it first happened. <laughs> Maybe the, the right. first time you ever get ants, I guess. You. Yeah. Well, you have to ask them to leave. You have to ask them to leave. Well, yeah, I know. Nicely. That's what the man said. <laughs> I saw yeah, a video. Yeah. The man Just say, said, get out of here. Yeah, well, he, yeah, th but he said uh, that. That's what the man said. You have to communicate with them. And he said, it's like talking to them. He said, you put this dish soap around your house, a perimeter or something, and this line, and they won't go yeah, across it. Yeah, right. yeah. And every animal has its own thing it won't cross, boundaries. Oh, so he, right. he had all these natural substances or <laughs> yeah, yeah, things right. he could put around the house that would, an impen yeah. impenetrable barrier. Anyway, that <laughs> That was interesting, I thought, but yeah. but but that had that was not that that was just a few years ago when I saw that. I, I don't know when that was, but uh, when I had a TV. But and I'll tell yeah. you something about Jim Kennedy because it but might yeah, we'll uh, interest subject, you. Jim yeah. played the piano very oh, yeah. well, and so did Nora. Oh, well, did. Nora played. She didn't think she played as well as Jim, but. Uh, when Jim uh, was, what Jim was talking about Which selling, when Jim Kennedy lived next door yeah. to us. 
he talked about selling his piano mm -hmm. and I said well maybe I should buy that for Ward because he's really interested in playing the piano he's starting I didn't don't know how I knew but I knew you were interested and he said no no I wouldn't want him to have that piano it's not good enough but he said a friend of mine and that was uh, the lad Rachel Ladd's husband who was an organist mm -hmm. in town mm -hmm. oh, she yeah. said he had a beautiful piano that he had uh, had, that had all been redone in Ottawa and he said I'll Heinz, see Heinzman. so he said I'll see if he'll yeah. sell that to you to us and so he did and that's how we got our piano well, and what make was it Heinzman yeah I think it was a Heinzman and yeah. Sarah plays that now Sarah well, plays that it's in, in my sister's family now with her daughter Sarah and Jim, her, yeah, her husband yes. Anne's husband Jim and uh, Jim Laws and so yeah. Anne, Anne Laws is, is her new name now that she's married is that right? Yeah. She changed her name? No. She, Anne not. Laws. She did. Yeah, yeah she Laws. changed it. Okay. Because yeah. some, some people keep their maiden names. That's what Yeah, I, I know. No. But did Jim Kennedy have any children? No. That's what I wondered. No. Because there was another Kennedy that I, I, I was a, a tennis instructor at the Yacht Club, Yacht and Tennis Club in Deep River, right? And I remember today, I was thinking today that I never spend any time thinking about these things, but, they, but my greatest achievement in tennis was winning. The men's singles in Deep River. That was probably. You my beat your father. Well, yeah, I know. I beat my. We've I beat got the Dad. picture. No, do you, you, you have the picture? Didn't we really do. Beat you. It's not like I beat you. I didn't completely. You know. You're, you're still here. Good. You're still here anyway. So. <laughs> I mean, and I, I, I had to go I didn't in the club too house. I couldn't walk. Oh, I think, it was what was the score anyway? Maybe six three, you know? six one, or was and it both six four or something? Six four. I don't know. Six three. Something like six four, six three. I think or something. I'm not sure. Or could have even been seven five for all I know. But no, I, I, I remember that match because it was that was a very close or very, um, I mean, for me it was a, you know, it was actually a, 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 a close match, I thought, but it was not, I mean, it, w it was a well-played match. There were not a lot of, I mean, it was a long rallies and stuff like, you know, fairly long rallies and stuff like that. But Did you have your pony outfit on then? I might no, have. that was Did prior I? to that. Hey? I think that was prior to that. Which was prior? Which was prior? Playing the match. Yeah. Well, the pony no. came later. No, I think so. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. No, the, I think the pony, so, the pony was anyway. first. The pony okay. was first okay. because I, I wore the pony when I wore the when he won the under eighteen in the, in that in Deep River, which was an okay. under eighteen, and that's my. Oh yeah. The, and that was a junior tournament. I think was I, that I, I'd come back from university to play dad, I think. I'd come yes, back from university. Yes, well, or maybe oh. if you did, yeah, then you would have it. So that would be the year after you went to university. Yeah, so yeah. I would have had That's the right. pony the year before that. Yeah, so I, okay. I, I may still have had the pony racket. That oh, yeah. It's possible, but I don't I don't know for sure. It's very, very, maybe even probable. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we'd find that out. But uh, no, yeah. I remember 76 just because Ian Glenn showed me the trophy when I, when I went there. But what? Why was I talking about tennis? Oh yeah, because Lisa Kennedy was a tennis instructor and she was a, the assistant to me and I was the head instructor at that time in my final year of high school. And, and that's when I had the pony, I think. Uh, yeah. And because we paid $50 for the trophies and we were supposed to pay $50 for the whole tournament. Remember that, Mom? No. Will McAlpin was in charge of the junior tournaments and, and we, were, we asked, Lisa Kennedy and I went to, and she was a very beautiful girl. Mm. And I worked with her every day. I guess it was a privilege, you know, to be to be working with <laughs> her. But it, she, apparently, she wasn't Jim Kennedy's daughter. I'm finding out. Like, no, no, it was she another Kennedy. Up higher on the highway. But, but w w when we went to the uh, jewelry store, or what was it called, the place where you get the trophies? Yeah, probably, it probably was a jewelry store. I read right. So yeah, or you probably. bought. You could buy. Uh, you could buy what uh, dishes there too. Yeah, and that's like it. That. That's a jewelry store. Okay, it was a jewelry store. Yeah, and and we went there to buy the trophies, and, and we but we asked Will McAlpin first, how much should we spend for the trophies, and or, or for the I forget how we asked him or what I think we asked him how much should we spend for the trophies, and he said fifty dollars. So we paid fifty dollars for each trophy. We oh, I remember that. Two Will trophies. was shocked. Yeah, <laughs> but I think he told us that. But but he yeah. meant for the whole tournament. Yes, right. Fifty dollars for the yes. whole tournament. So he wasn't thinking yeah. what what were we asking. No. I guess he wasn't listening closely to what we asked him, or we weren't somehow interpreting it right. But we, we ended up buying these silver, it, it, my most tr treasured trophy, oh, probably oh, you know, because oh. I have it still probably somewhere. This. Chalice, a silver well, chalice for fifty, a fifty dollars sterling silver chalice. So might be worth. Will, Will I won the tournament. Yeah. Might be worth a thousand now. Will, yeah. Will could have brought yeah. them back if he'd wanted to, but I remember that that he was shocked 
that they'd spend all oh, this yeah, money yeah, yeah. on, because they didn't have much money. Yeah. After Will, yeah. a year or two after that, I took over the junior program for a little while. Did you? Yeah, because Will was, uh, there was some problem with Will, remember? Somebody, and he got mad with them and he quit, and then I did it for a while. But Ward was gone then, so, uh, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I, I just... Uh, Oh, I was thinking about the. Wh why was I thinking about that now? Oh yeah, because you mentioned the pony racket, and that that was around the time when I had the pony racket for right, sure. Right, right. Right around that time, that was it. So, you don't have to wear those. It, no, no, I, I, I don't too, really need them. Too high pressure. But pretty, too pretty hot. hot. Too hot. Yeah, that's what's making it hot. You don't here, here, here. <laughs> yeah, you don't need them. Yeah. It's like oh dear. Everything is hot box. It's going well. I mean, we've got, uh, we're almost done here, I think. Well, we've got, we could stop any time. You, yeah. you ready to stop? It went when you were, yeah. yeah okay. So let's stop yeah, now. We should probably yeah. stop. Think ahead enough anyway. Yeah.